Hi, this is Jonathan Gardner. We're in 7.3. We're going to finally talk about Maxwell's equations. This is, once you pass through this section, you get to wear a badge because you actually understand what Maxwell's equations mean. Um, you understand their theoretical foundations. You understand how you can go from the beginning to the end. And um, we're going to start this, this with a discussion about what electrodynamics looked like before Maxwell. Okay. And... Um, so before Maxwell made his theoretical simplification to these formulas that inspired everything else um, and basically gave us the rest of, of uh, electrodynamics, this is what we had. These are the, the magnetostatics and electrostatics with this, this one thing we just talked about called Faraday's Law. Okay, so uh, once again, the divergence of the electric field is equal to the charge density. And we have an integral component of that that says the, um, the flux through a, a volume is equal to the total charge enclosed. Okay, the electric flux through volume. Then we have this guy that says there's no magnetic charge anywhere. Um, then we have this guy, Faraday's law, that says when you're changing a magnetic field, you create a curly E field. Okay, and applying Stokes theorem, you can get a similar uh, Amperian loop. Right, the electric field across an Amperian loop is equal to the change in magnetic flux through that loop. Okay. And then you have the Ampere's Law, which is familiar, that says that the curl of the B is the J vector, the, the current thrown through space. And you have the integral form, of course, that says that when you have the um, you, you have a, an Amperian loop, the B field along that Amperian loop is equal to the total charge enclosed. Okay. Now there's a, a, a nice consistency. You know, the divergence of a curl is supposed to be equal to zero. So let's take the divergence of the electric field. So that would just be um, the divergence of this guy. So minus D times the divergence of B over DT. Well, the divergence of B is zero, so this is equal to zero. And so you know, oh, this is a curl, not a dog. Okay. So the divergence of the curl is indeed zero as we proved in chapter one, it should be. But when you go to do this to uh, Ampere's law, well, that's just gonna give you mu naught times the divergence of J vector, which if you remember back in chapter four, five, six, four, five, 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 I think, when we first talked about steady currents, we said that in order for a steady current to exist, the divergence of the, the currents has to be zero. But in this case, that's not necessarily true. You can have currents accumulate and build up a charge. And you know, we've been doing it with the magnetic fields. Why can't we do it with the currents and with electric fields? Okay, and so this is most decidedly not zero. Okay, and to give you an example of where you run into trouble with exactly this problem, let's say you have a circuit with a capacitor and you draw your little Amperian loop, doodle doodle loop, right? And you say, okay, the magnetic field around that loop has to be equal to the current that passes through the surface that connects that loop. And you know, then you just say, well, I'm gonna use this surface right here, okay? And so you calculate the current flowing and indeed everything works out. Everybody's happy, hooray, let's go home. But you know, an, an astute observer might say, what if we drew the surface like this? So it didn't include a wire. What's the current flowing through that? The current flowing through that is zero, but indeed the magnetic field around the, sur the, the loop here is not zero. So something strange is happening, okay? So unless we change our, our rules for Ampere's law and say that you have to find a current somewhere and make sure you include the current and not just you know changes in the electric field, um, you're not going to get an Ampere's law that holds. We have to we have to basically modify Ampere's law so that so that this will work and so that this will work okay? because this is defi defi definitely not zero uh, where there's current building up. Next section we'll show the little crutch that we introduced that will make Ampere's law work. Thanks for your time. Bye.